study the next type of chemical reaction, the third one, which is displacement reaction. As usual, first let us know what is the definition of this followed by the examples. Displacement reaction is a type of chemical reaction. I hope you are writing along with this. Displacement reaction is a type of chemical reaction. Every time we mention this, as we are studying the types of chemical reactions. Type of chemical reaction in which one metal of a reactant, one metal of a reactant is displaced by other one. In which one metal of a reactant is displaced by other metal, is displaced by another metal. One metal is displaced by or replaced by another metal. Let us see the example so that it becomes clear to you. Fc stands for iron. Iron, whenever let us say you draw iron nail in the copper sulfate, this is one of the activities actually present in your textbook itself. Right? Whenever you drop one iron nail inside the copper sulfate solution, in fact copper sulfate solution is blue in color and the full name of it is copper sulfate pentahydrate. COSO4 5H2O that is the chemical formula of copper sulphate. It looks very beautiful dark blue color. It's called as royal blue color. So whenever just simple iron nail is dropped into copper sulphate solution, immediately the color will begin to fade. And at one point of time, the color totally disappears. Blue color becomes colorless just by dropping iron nail. What is the reason behind this? It is this displacement reaction because of which, what are the products? There is formation of ferrous sulphate. FeSO4 aqueous along with that copper will come out as a solid and this is actually colorless. This is colorless. This is blue colored. So you can just mention it. This is blue colored whereas this one is colorless. Okay. So there is one analytical question in your textbook which is whenever iron nail is dropped in the copper sulphate solution which is blue color it becomes colorless justify the statement. The reason is whenever there is reaction between iron and copper sulphate, iron displaces copper. So iron displaces copper, hence it is becoming iron sulphate. Along with that, there is formation of copper metal. So I have written it as solid. Okay. Initially iron was solid and here copper has become solid. Copper sulphate is an aqueous solution. Now iron is displacing copper metal and it is in the aqueous solution. And this is colorless. Ferrous sulphate is colorless, so copper being formed actually, so this color is not seen because actually CO is also colorless. That is why blue color becomes colorless. This is one example. Let us look at the second example. When lead, PB stands for lead, when that reacts with um, the cuprous chloride, so sorry, the cupric chloride, this name is cupric chloride, we just make a note of it because CU plus 1 is cuprous, CU plus 2 is cupric chloride. So whenever there is a reaction between lead and cupric chloride, what happens is there is formation of lead chloride, PbCl2 and there is formation of Cu solid. This is aqueous. Again the same situation. Lead here is solid, copper here is solid. Uh, this one is cupric chloride that was in the aqueous solution now. Now lead displaces copper. Lead is coming in the place of copper to form lead chloride. So this is about the type of one of the types of reactions which is displacement reaction. What is displacement reaction? It is a type of chemical reaction in which one metal present in a reactant is getting displaced by another metal. So this is a metal, this is also metal. Iron, copper, lead also. So these are all D-block metals. These are all D-block elements. Now one of them is getting displaced by another one. So this is the third type of reaction called as displacement reaction. Now let us focus on the fourth type, so pay attention, this is double displacement reaction. You should also know the difference between them. This is called as double displacement reaction. I will write the products and this example we have already discussed in our previous session. You will come to know why it is called as double displacement, what is the difference between the two. So PbNO3, this is lead nitrate plus potassium iodide. So this is actually now getting KNO3, potassium nitrate what we call as gunpowder is nothing but potassium nitrate plus PBI, lead iodide. Clearly, so this metal now is getting displaced by potassium which is also a metal. 
these two are literally getting exchanged. In this case, there is only displacement of one metal, whereas in this case, there is displacement of two metals. Right? So, lead comes in the place of potassium, K stands for potassium, which is the group 1 metal, and potassium goes in the place of lead. Therefore, the, the products are potassium nitrate, lead iodide. It's a balanced chemical equation. Second example, sodium sulfate. Sodium is a group 1 metal. It is in combination with sulfate, SO4 2 minus. And this is barium, group 2 metal, in combination with Cl minus. So, you can also take one more message from this. Sodium is a group 1 metal and barium is a group 2 metal. There is nothing like sodium should get exchanged, it should get exchanged only with the group 1 metals. There can be exchange between any metals as such. So in this case the answer is sodium sulfate reacting with barium chloride to give barium sulfate which is BaSO4 and 2 NaCl. 2 NaCl. Let us look at the physical states of the same. Here sodium sulfate and barium chloride are in aqueous solutions. They are dissolved in water, we have got its aqueous solutions. Whereas barium sulphate, though it is present in the reaction medium, it is actually insoluble. Hence we show the down arrow mark indicating barium sulphate is a precipitate. It is a precipitate. And 2 NaCl is of course aqueous because sodium chloride is easily soluble in water and it is not even seen because it is in the dissolved state. Whenever we dissolve the table salt in water, we cannot make out the difference between salt water and normal water. This by looking at it, right? Because NaCl is in the dissolved state. We cannot see it separately as such. So, what is the meaning of double displacement reaction? It's a type of chemical reaction in which the metals get mutually exchanged. Okay? You can just make a note of the definition here. Double displacement reaction is a type of chemical reaction is a type of chemical reaction in which type of chemical reaction in which the metals of in which the metals of reactants are mutually exchanged metals of the reactants are mutually exchanged are mutually exchanged. I hope these two explanations regarding displacement reaction and double displacement reaction is clear to all of you. In case you have any doubt, you can let me know. Definitely we should discuss the same.